welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to migrate a Galaxy repository uh, database from 2014 R2 uh, Service Pack 1 to Aviva uh, System Platform 2020. Now to begin let's prepare our uh, 2014 uh, CAB file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the IDE. As you see here, it's 2014 R2 SP1. And to make my work a little easier, now you may be able to do this in your, your production in your environment, then you, you might not be. Uh, but in this case, I'm first going to uh, undeploy the Galaxy repository and all nodes that are in my Galaxy. So in this case, there's only one system, so I'll just simply undeploy it. And the reason being, uh, when I restore the Galaxy onto an, another system, or when I migrate it, um, you know, the Galaxy itself will be undeployed. Now, you may be able to do this, as I said, then you may not be. If not, it's not a problem. This is just an optional step. Okay, once that's complete, I'll go ahead and close that out. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I'll verify that everything, uh, you know, undeployed successfully. The next thing that, that I'm going to do is I'm going to export all objects. And just place it in a drive where I can find it. Okay, and that will begin that process. All right, now once that's done, we'll just simply close this out and we'll exit out of the GR. And we'll open up the systems management console. At this point, we can make a backup of our Galaxy. And just simply navigate to where we store our other export file. And begin that process. Okay, and once that's complete, uh, we can go ahead and close this down and copy that file to our uh, new GR node. So we'll just simply locate it, and I'm going to copy both of them. And the Galaxy export, copy. This kind of makes things a lot easier, easier to find. Okay, so once it's copied there, then we'll move on to the Galaxy repository and begin the migration process. Okay, now that we're on the new Galaxy repository, uh, we're gonna locate our exported file. We'll select it and I'm just gonna copy it and I will copy it to a special folder. I'll uh, go to C, Program Files, Orchestra, Framework, Bind, and Backup Galaxies, and I'll copy the file there. Okay, once that's done, we'll open up the Orchestra IDE. And we will select our uh, freshly ex exported uh, CAB file and create a new galaxy based on that. So we'll just click on new galaxy and I'll just simply call it Acme demo and under galaxy type hit the down arrow and locate our cab file that will be a template and we'll simply say create and it will create that galaxy based on that that particular cab file. Okay, once the process is complete, 100%, uh, let's look at, let's take a look at the uh, window here in the log and make sure that there were no errors and it, it did uh, complete, you know, create, create the Galaxy at 100% and say close. Now let's connect to it. Now because this Galaxy uh, was from an older version, it'll ask us do we want to migrate and we'll just simply say yes and that will begin the migration process. Okay, once the process is pretty much done, it says 100% uh, completed here, 
but it still got some. It looks like it still got some cleanup uh, to do. Uh, one thing, once it's totally complete, you would you would scroll f through the logs just to make sure everything you know there was nothing you know unusual. There was no error messages, any warnings, or anything like that. You want to make sure that everything uh, migrated like you would expect it would. And then once that's done, you click on close and it will connect to your uh, newly made uh, galaxy and we can verify that everything uh, came over appropriately uh, once complete we verify that we are now in the uh, newly created galaxy and let's open this up and verify that we see all of the objects that we expect Now at this point you can go through the process and uh, you know deploy your galaxy make some modifications and so forth but uh, this indicates that at least the uh, the migration uh, process uh, was successful.